What's going on guys? Welcome back to Paint Society. We have Jeremy's E320 back here again. We're gonna give a little bit of love to the mirrors. They got some faded paint on them. We have a rattle can uh, that is mixed up to the color code and we have a 2K um, clear coat. So since we last met, Jeremy went ahead and he put on the model blocks and he lowered it. So we'll show you that. But for now, let me show you what the mirrors look like. So here are the mirrors now. You notice that the mirrors have taken much more of a beating than the rest of the car. That's for a couple reasons. First off, it's plastic. So what that means is these are possibly painted in a different facility. And well, these plastics aren't always given the best uh, material. 20 years of faded paint. Well, the sun has been beating on it. But let me show you what we're going to need to make this project happen. So we're not going to need a whole lot. We have some plastic and we have our sandpaper. This is a K grit. Now, the thing I like about this is you can get, just get a few pieces for your project. You don't have to buy a whole lot. And I'll leave the link in the description. And then over at Paint Scratch, we have some primer. You can use any primer. You can use Duplicolor for this small project if you like. Uh, the one thing that you're going to need, though, is the color code. And this is 693 Desert Silver Metallic. And this is the base coat. But this will not go on shiny. All right. So this is the same stuff that will come out of a gun, but it's put into a can. And then the clear coat, as we've seen on the channel before, it's got the uh, top that you want to break the bladder inside and release the catalyst to make it a real clear coat, just like would come out of a gun. So that's what we have. Uh, we're going to start sanding, then we'll prime and do some taping. You ready to go? Oh, I was born ready. So the first thing I like doing before I go ahead and sand is I'd like to use some wax and grease remover and get off any contaminants. This will also help for the uh, tape to stick well. And you can just use some regular paper towels. This way we're not sanding any of that wax or grease into the car or into the paint itself and we're going to have much better adhesion. Now if you want to do this job like 100%, I'm sure you can take this all apart and take out the light and I'm sure you'll break a couple screws along the way. Right here we're just trying to make this look better so we're going to end up taping this off in the gasket as well. So we got it all taped up on this side, still working on the mirror taping on this side. Let's see how... How you doing over there? Getting there. Okay, so you're gonna put it here and then put the razor like I did. Sure. Very smart. I'm thinking this is a lot to tape. If we're clean about it, we can tape it once, put primer, sand it, and then we should be fine. Uh, I plan to be. Yeah, because the retape all this. Should be fine. Okay. So this is K600, right? And the reason why I like K grit is because the K600 is gonna cut at the same speed of a 320. It's not going to cut like a 320 as far as the coarseness, but the same speed. But it's going to leave a 600 crit scratch, which is cool because we don't really want to get into too much of um, deep sand scratches. We just want to pretty much smooth out the uh, finish of this mirror and put some primer on it. So all we're looking to do is on this edge right here is take this line and, and what we call feather out. And what feather means is we're transitioning the layers into one another so it's smooth so it's not a harsh line and when the primer goes over it it'll create like a new barrier for us and that new barrier will be sanded and ready for paint so then continue along this line and we're not going to wet sand because this paper is not designed to use wet sanding although it can it doesn't need it right so wet sanding just really only helps move along the process if you have a weak sandpaper that can't necessarily cut uh, properly. And fast forward a little bit, and this is what it's gonna look like for the most part once it's feathered. Do you see the layers? They should be about a quarter inch apart or greater. Uh, so this right here is not feathered out properly because it's only like an eighth of an inch. So to make sure it's smooth enough, you wanna make sure those layers are about a quarter of an inch thick you do the best you can so jeremy is using his surf prep although you can use it by hand this does help out a little bit his surf prep sander and a cool part about it is it hooks right up to your wall socket so you're good to go and his wasn't as bad but i think i gave myself the one that was a little bit harder you're the pro i'm the pro but right here you see this right here it's a little chip you gotta feather that out so it, it smooths out completely. All right, so see how it's feathering out now? It's becoming a part of it. If you don't feather that out, then it's gonna be like a little bit of a chip and the primer is not gonna fill that. So keep on going, you're doing great. So we have our primer, we're ready to go. 
This is a uh, product that can be used over plastic, metal, aluminum, many other substrates as well. I like to do light coats. Don't try to cover it all in one. So five minutes have elapsed and we're gonna put on a second coat, just as light. We'll let that sit for another five minutes. And third coat, just five minutes later, we can go a little bit heavier. We wanna make sure there's full coverage. Uh, we wanna make sure we don't see any of the plastic. Now we don't need to primer the whole entire mirror. We only need to primer where the parts that we sanded down to plastic were. So the areas that like say underside or the front side of the mirror that still have good paint that we scuffed, we can leave those. We don't need to actually primer it all. And I'll show you that right now. So if we come along to the front side, you can see that this has got maybe some overspray, but it doesn't need, mean it needs primer in order for uh, paint to go on it. This is actually good paint still and underneath. So once this dries, we'll hit it up with a 800 grit and then it's ready for our base coat. And on Jeremy's side, that is such a novice spray pattern. I love it. Well, I just wanna make sure the angle's ready. <laughs> so perfect, first coat looks right, not too much. Five minutes, same routine. And we skip ahead to the third coat and just a little bit heavier on that third coat. We wanna make sure we can't see any of the plastic coming through. And I think we are good to go. We'll allow this to dry for a good half hour. We want to make sure it's totally cured. It does say an hour in the directions, but uh, down here in South Florida, things dry a little bit quicker. We're ready to sand the primer. The primer is dry. You can even use black spray paint. You don't need to necessarily use this one. It's just a little bit easier to sand. So we're ready to go. Guide coat's on there. Hey, Brian, it's 2021. Can you also use a lady coat or does it have to be a guy coat? It's guide coat not guide coat oh guide coat <laughs> yes and we're using k800 it's a step obviously above the 600 and we have metallics right so if we don't sand this fine enough the metallics are going to sit in that sand scratch which is very very fine um and we wanted to make sure it's not going to show so this is why we use a very very fine sandpaper for the job and again you don't need to use water. This paper is designed to cut and that is just what it's doing. After sanding, it's gonna look something like this. You might have some burn throughs. You don't need to reprimer that. The base coat will be fine. We know that they're 800 grit, so it's not gonna be a problem. If this was much rougher, of course, then I'd tell you you need to reprime it, but it's gonna happen. Don't worry too much about it. We use a little bit of wax or grease remover. Just using a microfiber this time to make sure it's nice and clean. And now we're ready to shake up our base coat and get rolling. Are you even left-handed? I'm not left-handed. Second coat, just about five minutes later. On a third coat, I don't need to go um, as heavy. And I like to stop, stop, stop. Jeremy? So this is a clear coat we're gonna be using. Eastwood makes it as well as Spray Max. Now this little cap right here, once we put it on this stem, it's gonna puncture the bladder, it's gonna release the catalyst. So once the catalyst and the clear coat combine, you have a regular clear coat. It takes a little bit of force and you gotta put it on something hard so that you can break the uh, bladder inside. Wow, <laughs> I wasn't lying. Give this a good shake for a couple minutes. Make sure to thoroughly mix. Now remember that once you start shaking this together, there is a time span on this. Uh, some people 
maybe get to a day, maybe a little bit more before it starts to gel up. But I would do everything in one setting. I wouldn't try to come back the next day if you're not familiar, or at least do a test first, because as soon as we shake it, it's starting to kick. So make sure you have a mask, because this stuff is hazardous. We're gonna do about two coats, maybe five minutes in between coats. First coat's not gonna go on too heavy, so let's go. The base has been drying for about 25 minutes. Look at the shine. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's keep it moving. Look at the spray pattern on it. You would think it's like a pink one. Bam, bam. It's been 10 minutes. We're gonna put the second coat on and that's it. Let's go. So it's been like 10 minutes since we sprayed it and there's like a slight haze still right in this area. Now we're painting at night, so it's not gonna dry as quick. So give it a little bit of time to really dry. Two coats is all we need. It's got a, it's got a beautiful gloss to it. And the color match isn't perfect. It's a little bit lighter, but it looks a hundred times better than what it was. And after a good hour and a half, they were nice and dry and ready to go and all the haziness eventually came out of the clear coat. Now, we did take off the tape at this point and you wanna make sure that you're very careful so that none of those edges do bridge with the actual paint and peel it off. Special thanks to Jeremy on helping us out on his project. We can't wait to work more on this project. And well, some daylight shots of these mirrors will reveal that they matched pretty well. Guys, don't forget to check out PaintSocietyStore.com to pick up all the latest merch in the merch store. Guys, this is Brian for Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. We'll see you on the next one.